Welcome back. And today is $10 DIY. And today we're personalizing fall reefs. Mm -hmm. Fall's right around the corner. And as cool as the weather is creeping up on us, so are the fall decorations. So for this, you're simply gonna need a reef, mm -hmm. some fall accessories, a glue gun, <laughs> and scissors. Yay, okay, Anna, we hope you're doing your proud here. Right. So, so it looks like this one was $5. Yeah. So this is already purposed a little bit and we are going to repurpose it so yeah. that it, it looks a little zhuzh. <laughs> so we have some orange feathers, very autumn-like, yes. very fall-like so as we get into season. And then I think you have like cute little pine cones. Yes, they're like little pine cones that also have the fall colors and that's what really, really makes it stand out. Okay. The fall season is upon us, guys. I know it's, <laughs> it's hard to say, but Summer's no, almost over. I know, we're excited and sad at the exact same time, but when right. you get to make little cute things like this, it makes it more fun, I think. So I guess Anna's instructions were pick out your faves and place them and just start gluing. Yeah. And just make it your own. So, okay, let's pick out some spots. There you go. I'm gonna start adding feathers. Who doesn't and, love a good feather? Right, I'm pretty sure she found these at your local Hobby Lobby or Dollar Tree store. Um, the feathers are $3.99. The reef is five dollars, so that's less than Stringy. ten dollars almost. Perfect. Okay, yeah, I'm taking over with the glue gun. Right. So, what's your favorite thing to do in the fall? <gasps> Carve pumpkins. <gasps> Go okay. to apple orchards. Yeah. Pick apples, eat cider donuts, drink apple cider, <laughs> get some pumpkin spice lattes. Some of the most basic things you can do, which I think are incredible. But uh, pumpkin patches, picking them out, gourds, decorative, colorful stuff. Ooh. I know. I'll let you take your turn now. That's fun. I like to um, go on corn mazes. <gasps> you do? Wait, yes. haunted ones or haunted regular ones? Maze. During no. Halloween, that's the best time to go on a corn maze. No, I'm too scared of that now. <laughs> In my youth, I used to think that was a form of like fun activity. Uh -huh. Now a man chasing me with a chainsaw is not my <laughs> ideal Friday night. I can attest. Okay, here. Go ahead. You Your turn. Yes, let's see where I'm going to place these. Okay, cute. And guys, make it your own. Make it personal because this is yeah. your time to create. It is. Well said. <laughs> <laughs> and I know Anna's loving this because she is she <laughs> the queen craftswoman here. And she has shown me so many great things to do. So I love that she has instilled the craftsman in me. Yeah, look at she. Who knows? Hopefully you're proud of us, Anna. And hopefully we're not sabotaging this. I you like want some feathers? Yes, Sorry. I love some feathers. I'm bogarting the feathers. <laughs> I like these too. These are very cute and I love that they're orange. That was a good yes. fall find. And guys, you can always do different colors of feathers, different colors of um, the pine cones. I'm sure there's green yeah. ones. So Whatever you like. What about, so I know you love a corn maze. What else? I love pumpkin patches too. Yeah. Pumpkin patches, like you said, um, apple picking. Yeah, apple so. I know I gotta start Googling, or maybe you guys know, obviously you all know different areas to go, but I'd love to hear back from the community on where to go to really start celebrating fall. I hear fall is uh, you know, just a gorgeous time to be here, so I'm excited to be here and experience that for sure. I heard Bemidji's a place to go okay. during the fall. All right, I'll be making a list. <laughs> <laughs> all the hot spots to hit up. And I'm sure we'll be doing different stuff around here. Oh too. yeah, we were just talking about going to the roller rink. Do you guys remember going to the <laughs> roller rink? Comment, like, and, sh and talk to us about that <laughs> on our the Facebook roller page. Rink. We're making jokes because we don't know how to skate. Well, you do know how to I, skate. Yeah, I've been an avid rollerblader since I was. You seven. have? Yeah. Okay. There's a place in Illinois, and it's called the Palladium. And every Friday night, you could catch me there from seven to ten, rolling around to like. So you know, rollerblading or skating? Rollerblading. Okay, like me the too. Inlines. Okay. Okay, I can do that. I can't do the actual skate. Where right, you gotta the floor? Like, yeah. I can't do that one. Oh gosh, maybe we'll learn that one together. <laughs> yeah. I'm just keeping on right? going on some feathers. And I love this, Ashlyn. We're just making a, a beautiful reef. A little craft and a chat. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's kind of cute, it actually. Is. It's definitely turning out very beautiful. Yeah, so here's the top. Again, this started out as a $5 reef. I don't know if the colors are showing up, but we added feathers and we got some cute little Corn cob looking acorns. <laughs> acorns, pine cone. I'm not sure what it is, but this is actually super cute. And of course, you can do this for any type of season. Most definitely. Christmas wreaths. You know, you can get just you know a inexpensive one and then start gluing sparkle bedazzled things. Emily, I'm sorry to you already, our producer, because we have made a giant <laughs> mess. It looks like Thanksgiving turkey dinner has been cooked on this Ooh, table. What's your favorite? There's feathers everywhere. What's your favorite Thanksgiving? Um, 
side or main dish? Oh, oh, oh no. Three of them just crossed my mind. What are they? Um, definitely love a mac and cheese. Ooh. I love a side like, a, you know, like a, oh, this is going to sound bad, but like an apple pie or mm. an apple dish. Yeah. Of course, a pumpkin pie too. Actually, I take it all back and I love everything because Thanksgiving is actually one of my favorite holidays. Any excuse to eat from morning till evening <laughs> in different hors d'oeuvres, I'm in. And watch football. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a day with family and to give right. thanks. And our wreath would be perfect. <laughs> so guys, place this on your door and just wait for the comments to roll in. <laughs> okay, Anna, I hope we made you proud. Right. Our first DIY without her. <laughs> well, up next, we'll be talking to the Moorhead Public Library, and they'll be giving us some titles <laughs> that are being released this year. Stay tuned.